That's better. The air was starting to get a little thin out there. I'm either in some sort of hallway, or else it's the creature's esophagus. Warning. Airlock ahead. Safety suit and air tether required for extravehicular exploration. But don't worry, I'll put it on you, sweetie pie. So, those spacesuit parts I found belong to someone named Sweetie Pie. But who is behind Sweetie Pie? That's what I want to know. Oh no, we're moving. That means I brought Mob Chathra back to life. Are you another prisoner of Mob Chathra? Must be a maiden from some land of hexagons. Don't worry, little hexagal. I'm gonna find all the other maidens and get us all out of here, okay? Someone ought to fix that. Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. Hmm. Is that a train? Hmm. This door doesn't open. Man, this place is a mess. Mob Chathra may be alive again, but he doesn't look so hot. Looks like something horrible is in here. But what? Uh, door won't open. Someone ought to fix that. So much junk in here. This must be the room where they melt stuff. Oh, must be locked or something. Ah, the belly of the beast. Or ship. Either way, monster or machine, I took it down before. Should be even easier from the inside. Is this the brain? Looks important, but also super fake. Must be a decoy. Seriously, who do they think they're fooling with this baby stuff? See? We're not in space, Dutch. I knew that. I'm the one that took this ship down, you remember? No, I'm the one that took it down. But let's not fight. Let's team up and take it down again together. As long as it involves me cutting stuff, I'm in. Locked, maybe. If I could find the brains of this operation, I could open all these doors. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you! All clear. It's safe to come out now. Safe? Who are you kidding? 
The ship's on fire. You have to get out of there. I know the ship's on fire. That's why I'm staying put in this fireproof room until I figure out what to do. Who is this? Engineering department. Just a routine maintenance visit. Engineering department? What are you talking about? Is that you, Shay? Is this Mog Chathra's brain? Lock off the train? I've lost all contact with the train. Can you open this door? I could, but I won't. Not until I know who you are. My name is Bella Tartine, and I'm here to take you down. D did you say Martine? Shay, is that you making a joke? It's me, Shay. Oh, really? Is that really you, Shay? You sound so strange. I was injured. It's affecting my voice. Oh, that sounds terrible. If, if it's true. Oh, I just don't know what to believe. It's me. Don't you recognize me? Well, not really, to tell you the truth. Okay, I'm not really Shay. What? Are you playing some kind of cruel joke on me? If you don't believe I'm Shay, I'm leaving. Oh, I just don't know what to believe right now. My son would understand that. Maybe. What's this? Some sort of living quarters? Oh, quit with the sad stuff, Magchatra. You brought this on yourself. That looks pretty heavy. Gruesome. Wait, is that real? Nice view. Both of them. Huh, someone pried open this vent. I wonder why. Guess there's only one way to find out. Shay, you. It's you. The last one. Who are you? Are you in control of this monster ship? No. She is in control. The brains. I was just a stowaway sent to save the young boy. What were you saving the boy from? From her. The one they call Mom. She's been programmed to keep the boy safe, but she's taken it beyond sanity or reason. Now he is her prisoner. We all are. Who's her? I mean, who is she? She's the brains of this ship. You can find her in the room next to the galley. But be careful. She has eyes and hands everywhere. The boy is not a prisoner anymore. He escaped when I, uh, boarded. I see. Well, that shouldn't affect the mission. Which mission? To get control of this ship and end this madness. Is the boy the one kidnapping maidens? No. And, yes, he made the selections but didn't know what he was selecting. He thought he was rescuing helpless creatures. Because that's really what we were doing. How were you rescuing anyone? We were saving you... <coughs> ...from the plague. What plague? Get me out of here and I'll explain. Why did you have the boy select whom you were rescuing? Even our best technology is no match for the instincts of a boy like Shay. Especially at his age. You're not really explaining anything. It's <coughs> hard for me to talk. Get this off of me and I can explain <coughs> everything. Why did you call me the last one? You were the last creature, final subject of our rescue mission. Shay seemed especially interested in you on more than one occasion. 
Why did you single me out? I assume he sensed your strength somehow, your spirit. I hope he was right. Where are the other maidens you rescued? They're safe, but locked up. Once we get control of the ship back from her, we can free them. Where is this ship headed? I assume back to its homeland, to deliver us to its masters. Can we stop this ship? Yes, but only if we can get into the central control room. She's locked the door with some sort of manual override. It can only be opened by her, from the inside. Can you open any of the locked doors on the ship? Well, my arms are pinned, but I think I can push this one button. That's the best I can do. Thanks. I can work with that. Hey, wait, you're a wolf. Sorry, I've had a really strange day, and it's getting hard to recognize strange things right away. It's a long story. But I promise if you help me get out of here, I'll explain everything. I've got to go. Get into the central control room. It's the only way to stop this. That's the switch he used to unlock that door over there. Better leave it unlocked. These big surveillance screens don't seem to be working. Looks like some sort of video game. Hmm. This door is locked. I wonder what they keep in here. Someone, or something, has really scratched up the floor here. Looks like some sort of animal sleeps here. Looks like a museum in here, after a tornado. Wonder if I can learn something about that kid in here. Looks like some sort of medical report. Metabot exam report. Patient continues normal, healthy development. Unlike his first five years, this year has been marked by a remarkable growth spurt. In one year, he has grown two inches taller and gained three shoe sizes. Splarg therapy appears to be working. Splarg? Shea Volta, best actor, Purple Boots, the musical. Looks like a note written by a little kid. Dear Shoe Fairy, thanks for the shoes. Aww. The red striped ones were cool, and so were the green ones with skulls. But next year, could I please have red shoes with skulls? Please, please, please. Thanks. Shay. Sheesh. Demanding. Apparently, these people had giant monster spaceship technology before they perfected color photography. That is the happiest snake attack victim I've ever seen. I'll give this guy one excuse. He had a weird childhood. It says, safety award, footwear category. It's a painting of what looks like a red boot. Safety award, aquatics category. Shay's first space boots, age five. That train wreck looks like ominous foreshadowing to me. That train wreck looks like ominous foreshadowing to me. Uh, hello? Hey, who are you? My name's Vela. What's yours? Mine? 
Well, mine is, uh... Gosh, it's been so long since anyone asked. Let me look it up. It's Melanie. Huh. Are you a closet, Melanie? Kind of. Step inside. I'll show you. Good. Now close those eyes tight to make sure your eyeballs make it to the same place you do. What? Oh, honey, we need to talk about your perfume. Surprise! I'm a teleporter. Now, you tell me a secret. Hey, where'd the other room go? What's wrong with my head? And my voice? Oh, no, I thought I had that fixed. You made my head bigger. Don't worry, sweetie. It's temporary. Take a trip back through me and I'll set things right. This is weird. Hey there. Back to the Nexus? Fingers crossed. Bye bye Now it's even bigger. Don't push it, honey. Come back through me before you pop. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. It's me, Shay. You sound kind of funny. It must be the intercom. But still, I need a little more proof, Shay. I mean, whoever you are. I want to believe it's you, Shay, but everything is just so strange right now. First the crash, and then my controls went dead, and now I can't reach your father. I just... I don't know who to trust. So just make me feel better by answering a few easy questions, okay? Um, sure. All right. First question. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? Mr... Go on. Puggy. Is that your answer? Yes. Mr. Puggy, I see. Oh, Shay, I'm so glad you remembered Mr. Huggy. He was the first friend I ever knit for you. I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this. What was that? Nothing. I see. Well, I have another question for you. Of all my little pet names for you, which one was your favorite? Please, can we not do this? That's... That's exactly what you used to say all the time. You hated my nicknames. I mean, Shay did. Now just one more question, for safety. I used to make my son new space boots every year until his ninth birthday when he insisted on machine-made boots from the replicator. As he would surely remember, I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color or a pattern. So, please tell me what was the color size, and pattern of his very first space boots. Purple. And the size? Size four. And the pattern? Polka dot. Oh. Oh. Shay, it is you! <gasps> You're 
You're not a computer. You're not Shay. to our ship. Where's my son? Who are you? And why have you been kidnapping girls with this ship? Are you insane? My name is Bella Tartine. I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? The wolf told me about you. Okay, now just calm down. You, you need some help. You are not in space. Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No, you were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're a monster. But... She's right, my friend. There he is. That's the wolf I was talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped under that junk anymore? I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. <gasps> Marikai, what are you doing here? I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion for you. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret from you and your family. But... how are you... You said our world was dying. It was, but then you went forth and found our salvation, as so many have before you. The Mogs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native as some of your predecessors did. We were never in space? <laughs> no. Laruna is a great empire unto itself but is part of this very same planet. Beyond the plague dam. Funny you should mention that, Bella. Because here we are. Now, while I prepare the ship for sterilization, you two sit tight and relax, and know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations to come. 